Hello, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. I am Kieran. If you haven't watched my videos, um, a little bit about me. I am an artist and I graduated with a bachelor's in fine art. And for my senior thesis, I created this beautiful project on silk fabrication in Mymar. And I learned about this from YouTube, from watching videos, and then scouring the web for more information on this beautiful artisan work. I ended up creating paintings that went along with my research, and I wanted to share this because I thoroughly want to learn more and be educated, so I'm seeking help and more information on this culture and this artisan work. If anybody knows or has some information, please let me know and comment down below. And welcome to my project. I hope this helps people and I hope this educates people and entertains people. This is Fan Thi Thuan. She was interviewed by Business Insider where she discusses the skill that goes into crafting the lotus silk. Unlike silk from silkworms, the tedious process is woven by hand, then processed through a loom, where it takes months for a skillful artist to complete a beautiful fabric that in Vietnam symbolizes a national importance. It was an honor to represent her on my first panel because I admired her hard work and skill and passion. The man in this picture is harvesting lotus root to take to his family workshop in in a lake where they will take it to be processed, spun, and woven. All right, so I wanted to show the first one. That is the panel of collecting, gathering root, So this portion of the paintings are made with with uh, cardboard and watercolor, and then the main part is made with oil. On the sides, I glued some fabric on there. There's really nice textural differences between this and the oil, but these people that I painted are from the videos that I watched. So that is number one. Before I go further into the video and demonstrate more of the process, I also wanted to recognize a recent great achievement. I watched the video Manipur Entrepreneur turning lotus plants into silk yarn and learned about this young entrepreneur who encouraged her community to partake in lotus fabric trade so that they can gain a source of livelihood during the pandemic. The whole process begins by extracting fibers from the roots. Then it's collected into bigger piles where the ladies add rice paste or other paste to thicken the fibers and make them more durable so they can last through the rigorous process. Number two, extracting. like I'm telling a story so this is showing like how the houses are on in a lake and how this person is part of the story this person is just changing the texture of the fabric string person is extracting it from the roof. This person is still collecting and then there's hands showing how they separate the lotus and 
break it apart to show the fibers. That's the second one. Here I include images of workers spinning fibers so they can accumulate them into bigger bulks. This process is created from passing the fibers from smaller spinning devices onto bigger tracks. It's important to note that their tools are handmade and come from what is available to them. From, for example, they use bicycle wheels and axles to create their machines for spinning. The 2019 Magic of Lotus Flower is a short documentary film produced by a Turkish broadcasting service. The journalists visited Enpau Khan village, the center of lotus fabrication in Enalik, Myanmar. The shop manager and artisan Dao Ni explains that she coordinates 60 weavers in the shop. She learned this trade by her family tradition of 18 years. Dao Ni adds that when the bundles are hung to dry, they use candle wax to further strengthen the elasticity. In the video, Downey is featured on the camera demonstrating how she, she threads and measures the fabric before attaching it to the weaving looms. This is number three. We're spinning. This is number four. Now I'll be showing and discussing how the weaving machines work. Not only do the workers have to use their hand and feet, but they have to pay close attention and correctly master this craft to produce beautiful works. And this is the last one. The worker needs to pass a shutter from one side to the other as they interchange the hanging silk mesh dividers. The weavers must interchange the bamboo tracks that switch the mesh dividers with their feet as they pull on a string that exchanges the shutter and the other hand pushes the preceding horizontal thread up and down. The intricate process is also very detail oriented because the string can break at many times or the shutter could cut or really damage someone's hands. I wanted to share my final thoughts about this whole project. So in my initial learning process, I didn't know anything about Mymar. I didn't even know where it was located. I was capable of finally understanding why it's important to learn about other countries that you don't know a lot about because you've realized that because of their government or because of some other reasons their information is being restricted you're not allowed to see how other people live and it is important to learn and view yourself and other people's perspectives because it keeps you with an open sense of mind and how you're living your daily life versus other people like for example um watching one of the videos really put me in a perspective when I was younger, I wouldn't have had to wake up early, go to school, and then go to a factory and make a product because it was in the family business or because I needed to. I grew up where I just was raised to go to school, and then I would go home, have homework. I would have to be able to 
taken to like a sport or a camp. You know, I didn't have a sense of urgency to help my family or I didn't have any cultural um, traditions where I needed to do something in my young life where I would have to learn to respect my culture or respect a religion. So when I learned about this, I really thought it was beautiful how at a young age, um, people have to learn from their family to continue a tradition, for example, the Lotus fabrication. And it means something special for them. It means that they can cherish their ancestors. They can cherish the physical environment, environment around them and take something that's also religiously embodying um, their Buddhism and like the whole country's um, kind of national flower is indicative of like a whole manifestation of things coming together from like something from a soil to someone's heart. So it's really difficult to make just one video about this because there's so much things that I, I could have talked about. I just wanted to make it simplified and I wanted to show how I can make art to go along with you know, a journalistic type of um, publication where someone like me who's just learning how to, you know, do research and professionally um, edit and get things out to the internet, published, and teach people around my community or where I work about what I'm doing. So this is just like the starting for me or the start for me, sorry, to figure out how I can take my interest about learning about other people, about cultures and arts that intrigue me, and I think that they need to be um, shown to people that don't know about them because they're so important for people to recognize the hard work and why they still exist and why things shouldn't be taken for granted. Um, this is a really delicate subject, so I always have to make sure I'm like speaking from my heart and not speaking from any ill intention. So I was rambling, but I wanted to cut off the video really fast and just say goodbye. Thank you for watching. You can see all of my links down below. For more information, definitely look down at the description. You'll see the videos that I saw and hopefully you enjoyed and thank you very much. Bye.